हम उस वक्त यहाँ पे मिक्स मार्शल आर्ट सिखा रहे थे जब यहाँ पे बम फट रहे थे लोग एक दूसरे से डर रहे थे कि कोई दस बंदे जहाँ पे इकट्ठे हो जाते हैं वहाँ पे बम चल जाता है पाकिस्तान में इतने गलत गलत हालात थे यहाँ पे इतने मुश्किल थे लेकिन हमने फिर भी बस गेम को आगे आगे लेके जाने की कोशिश की है कि बस हमने ये सिखाना है और ये बनाना है और बना रहे हैं इन बाकी आपके सामने है जो watching on star sports in that part of the world when you're looking at the man that they call the pioneer of mixed martial arts in your country like the first step you know to me like going to to one of seeing competing like you know it's like it's the most prestigious event in, in asia it's the biggest event in asia that was kind of it kind of sealed the deal of everything else would be doing here in in pakistan it was like the one chapter or maybe like one book in the trilogy had finished you know and now the next steps you know and the next phase is, is about to begin that's, that's how i see it after ever since i came back i've been talking with like a decent number of sponsors and people really interested in being involved in the sport and what i tell them is like right now you have a lot of inertia you know you got this like subculture this community that's like bubbling and it's got all this energy now all we need is just a little bit of resources to light that match and really you know just have things take off shir saab america se aaye the pakistan mein inhone ek academy banayi aur chhota sa ek tournament karwaya jisme fighter ladke usme fight ki aur maine dekha maine kaha maine bhi yahi seekhni hai sikhai hai aur apne chote bhaiyon ki tarah baithungi jaise mujhe rakha hai rakha hai aur mere liye har cheez mujhko di hai gloves ho gaye sports mein jo bhi cheeze istemal hoti hain wo sari cheeze shir saab ne apne paas se mujhe sari cheeze apne paas se di So this year where are we headed right now? We are going to the apartment where it all started. Where it all started. Yeah, we all started. I I like uh I lived in this apartment for about 9 months. It was the first MMA gym in Pakistan and it was also my home. Yeah, I mean like it was pretty bare bones. It was just like a heavy bag there and like the mats, like we made these homemade mats. We brought some some stuff from Karachi from like a industrial market. Mm -hmm. Like they make shoes with these mats and stuff and yeah, we just laid them down and uh we did jujitsu on them and we also slept on them at night. Yeah. I want this to be a phenomenon. You know, I I I I'd like to guide it in a certain direction. Um but uh other than that I want people to do this everything on their own and start like in this like said I just want it to be a just a phenomenon that people are you know it just kind of springs out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so here's the place and downstairs are the real estate people who are pretty good friends with. Uh gym chalate the yahan par ye jab aaye hain first time to maine inko yahan par second floor lekar diya tha aur ye सारी डिस्कशन थी कि हमने ये यहाँ पर जिम स्टार्ट करना है तो अब माशाल्लाह वहाँ भी अल्लाह ताला ने काफ़ी और काफ़ी अच्छा चल रहा है तो लोगों ने कोई शिकायत ही नहीं की वगैरह यहाँ के जो मोहल्ले टाइप अगर कोई हुई भी है तो वो मैं हमने खुद फेस किया है और उनको खुद ब्रीफ कर कर हमने उनको क्लियर किया है क्या ब्रीफ नहीं दिया मतलब कि भी ये अच्छी है गेम है इसमें मतलब आपकी एक्सरसाइज भी है और आप लोगों को एक टेक्निक्स भी आ रही हैं फाइट्स के लिए तो अपनी सेविंग के लिए हमारे पास ये बहुत बहुत तो तो भी था ना जिसने हमारा केज वगैरह उठेड़ दिया था कि ये नहीं होएगा मोहल्ले में बट ईयर एंड हाफ गो इन जुलाई वी we had a, we store we were storing a cage on and on a rooftop in a neighborhood because the only place that we could find that would fit the cage and was you know we could afford really kya yahan pe hum event karwana chahte hain lekin mahalle daron ko nahi pata tha ki hum yahan pe event karwa rahe hain matlab jab humne sara cage wagaira fit kar diya event ke liye duniya aani shuru ho gayi log hi log ho gaye aur logon ne hum sahe jo the jo neighbors the sab kuch uthao ye kya kanjar khana lagaya hua hai yahan pe ye kya game hai ye nahi ho sakta ye sense nahi na jin logon ye khoon kharaba hoega aise log hamare bacche jo hain wo galiyon mein ek dusre ko marenge bas ye dur le jao humse now this is where mixed martial arts in pakistan started this is we named this place the office we have a, a name for each of our uh, gyms and this one was the office
Right now, Lahore is the center of MMA in, in Pakistan. Um, and it, I mean, it's cool because you know, I'm here and I get to see everything that's going on, but it, it's not helping speed up the process for the entire country, you know? Uh, because we had some of the toughest guys we have are like out in the mountains and the deserts, you know, uh, living their tribal lives, you know, like there's some hard, hard people. Uh, you know, guys who are watching my fight, you know, like, around the world are like, yeah, that's, you know, Pakistani spirit and I'm covered in blood and like, you know, uh, these guys have more spirit than I do, you know, these, these guys are killers, man. And when, once we can bring these like guys out, you know, uh, or like guys in like Karachi who are like in like the slums there, you know, like hard, hard dudes, people have been watching, people get shot like, you know, in their neighborhoods on a daily basis and can challenge maybe that angst, that energy that they have uh, or and turn that negativity into something positive, you know, we're going to get some, some really, really good fighters out of here. Pakistan can be proud of Bashir Ahmed, his first fight in 1FC, and he's done a whole nation proud. Right, so people have been hearing about MMA in Pakistan a lot in the States and elsewhere. It's come up on a global scale. But the Veshi League is a little bit different in terms of like what the VCL is about, what the VCL is about. Yeah. You talk about that. What makes it different? What makes it similar? All right. Well, Bag MMA is just the organization which we are promoting uh, mixed martial arts. VCL is merely a venue where we uh, promote competition. So it's a venue where people can come together and test their metal. We're not just bringing, uh, we're not just promoting the sport. We just bring fighters together so they can test each other out. So we make uh, different rules, different situations where they can test each other. We don't want to be just the same generic set of uh, only mixed martial arts, that's it. The word Veshi roughly translates into wild or animalistic, if you like. But our philosophy isn't just to become let loose like an animal. Our philosophy is that, you know, we c in every single person there is a wild animal. Yeah. There is a savagery. There is an instinct to be let a beast out. We have a beast inside of us. As you party. But what's important with the, our concept, our philosophy, is that you control that animal. You keep it and contained, you let it out when you order it, but you control it when you order it as well. So, like our tagline, is supposed to be empower savagery. We'll now begin in this corner, weighing 60 kilos, coming out of modern hand gym, Omar Basra. In this corner, coming out of synergy, weighing 62 kilos, diamond in the rough, snowball Raja. Weighing 74 kilos, coming out of team change. Uh, welcome to Jackson. Inshallah, Jackson. i Coffee also can I or for the moon can make a chola student in a poor person. National football, national gold I am a gold medalist. 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 I am a ये काम आगे गेम करना होता है पीछे चार काम पीछे घर के पड़े हुए पेंडिंग पड़े हुए ये काम करो वो काम करो बाकी ये है कि इंशाल्लाह ये अगर फ्यूचर में ये है कि प्लेयर को कुछ दिया जाए जैसे बार कानून में दिया जाता है मसाले लाख लाख रुपए दे 50000 रुपए भी दे प्लेयर आगे जाता है ठीक कम से कम डाइट का पर्स खर्चा दे दे कोई मसला नहीं है द विनर बाय वन पॉइंट बाय वन पॉइंट आई एम अ दरी
रिजल्ट कैसे लगा रिजल्ट हुई है नजर आ रहा सामने नजर आकर वीडियो चेक की जाए तो रिजल्ट नजर आती है पता नहीं क्यों बहरा अच्छी गेम थी मेरी भी उसकी भी अच्छी थी Yeah, so that was a pretty crazy fight. Yeah, you, you enjoy that? Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it quite a bit, especially uh, the last one. Yeah, the, yeah. The dude from Bindi versus the Jack. Jack, yeah, Jack Saab. He's a, he's an old guy on the scene. He's, uh, he's he's been doing wushu for a while, so he's got Strong. a pretty yeah, he's got a decent amount of experience, and he's in very good shape. Of he's course. a gold medalist. Uh, or is he? I, I don't know. He likes to talk a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's one of those guys who likes to talk a lot. Yeah. He's a gold medalist, probably bodyguard to Benazir and Nawaz Sharif, and been doing martial arts since okay. partition. Whoa. You know, <laughs> stuff that doesn't really add up, type of thing. Yeah. yeah. He's he's a nice guy. But he just likes to talk a lot. And where are we headed now? We are headed to what is known as a dungal. Now, dungal is like uh, in traditional Kushti or Pilwani. It's uh, it's just like a competition. This is one of the smaller ones. This is kind of like the you know the junior guys who are up and coming, uh, where they'll uh, be competing. Um, oftentimes we'll have, uh, like in the old city, like I mean, you'll you'll fill up a stadium with like six, seven thousand people, you know, on a, on a weekend just to come watch wrestling. This is the hotbed of wrestling in the, in the country, and we've worked with uh, wrestlers uh, before. In fact, when I first arrived here, like I made a beeline to the Akardas and like established relationships with them. And what I one thing that I hope. To come out of uh, MMA spreading in Pakistan is also resurgence of the wrestling culture. Uh, so that's something I'm really sad to see uh, in its decline. So this is my coach, uh, my right, wrestling man. coach, Nadeem Name. Uh, he's been part of the MMA scene here for a number of years, okay. uh, and uh, he's one of the very few coaches that I have complete trust in. How long have you been coaching? Uh, I think from the beginning I, I was coaching him since last two years, yeah, and uh, during the fight I coached him. Uh, like uh, two or three months. The, the wrestling behind us is a tradition from the Punjab, not all over in Pakistan. It's a, a mud wrestling, you can say it, mud wrestling. It's uh, only in Indian Punjab, in Pakistani Punjab. It's our tra tradition. You can say it's uh, the second uh, most favorite sports uh, in Pakistan after cricket. In the traditional wrestling, it's like to just to pin once and the fight is over. And a pin is when both shoulders are on the, the ground? Both, both shoulders, sometimes the shoulders are not on the ground, but you are in the danger position, the fight is over. फैलवानी तो ये है भाई किसी को शौक हो तो वो करता है जिसकी गुजाइश हो तो गुजाइश ना हो तो वो नहीं करता फैल ये भी कहता था मेहनत जो करेगा वो ही ऊपर जाएगा जो मेहनत करेगा ना वो ही पहलवान बनेगा वो हो कोई नहीं बने इन मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ बाहर के मुल्कों को भी हराने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ मैं बात ये है जो स्पोर्ट होती है वो बहुत चीज़ होती है स्पोर्ट के ऊपर सिफारिश हो तो फिर जाता है Fuck, what a day. For a long yeah, day. <laughs> what a long day. What a yeah. long day. So, what's going on now at the gym? Yeah, we got a smoker going on. Yeah, submission grappling, uh, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, and it's just all for new guys to get some experience. Right. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's check it out. I feel a lot of momentum. Uh, I feel a lot of excitement, like with people. People are uh, are really happy that you know that we got represented out there. Like uh, the most uh, the com most common thing that I hear is that people were really really happy to see the flag raised. Yeah, like that that is by far the most uh, common comment that I've heard, and th that actually really like touches me because if they're like, oh, we're so happy that you won, she'd fight. That's just about me. But when, when they when they said that like we were we were so most happy when the flag was raised, that means that like I really touched. Like, well, not not me, but that situation touched a lot of people's hearts, and and, and hopefully inspired a lot of people, and, and gave people pride because uh, when I when I went in there, that's what I was telling a lot of the journalists, and that like I want to make 180 million people happy, if, you know, like that's that's the main thing because over here, you know, you know, you've been here, uh, the guys film all day, see power's going out, the traffic is crazy, and you know, country's like you know not in good shape, so anything I can do to put a smile on people's face and. Make them feel proud of their country. Like that's that's like the best thing. Ever. Your whole existence here is an existence of frustration. You know, oh, there's no more water in the tanky. Go okay, you go down to turn on the motor, which brings the water up. 
the motor's not working because the freaking plug is fried. Got to tape, you know, do a whole little thing, have like this trail of wires from your extension, all these extension cords going from the roof down to the motor, and then the power goes out. Now, we've trained uh, by candlelight in here before. We've trained by mobile phone light, you know, everyone's like, okay, uh, power's gone out, everybody get your, turn your mobiles on, put them all over the place, and we just keep going on training. <laughs> We are in Lahore, Pakistan, and we're about to witness Pack Fight Club 3. Right now, today, I'm kind of busy getting all this stuff uh, together. We've got a small MMA community um, that's growing, and we've got a diehard group that uh, we help organize the events. So this is the cage, the first MMA cage in Pakistan. We have eight fights tonight, four of which are going to be in a bantamweight tournament uh, for the first uh, Pack Fight Club bantamweight uh, champion. And uh, it's looking good. Things are getting uh, better uh, year by year. Uh, organization is getting better, the amount of people that we have to help us is, uh, is getting better, resources are getting better, and so is exposure and awareness. So we'll see how tonight turns out. To get a background on what's going to happen tonight, so you are fighting... Ovesh Shah. Shah. And what happened last time? Put me to sleep. I got a bit cocky and started running after him with my hands down. Yeah. Spins and... Uh... And he gets knocked out. Yeah, I was there, I was refing. It, it, it looked like he got shot with a gun. I was like, no, wait, is he gonna get back up? And, and then, no, uh, yeah, me, I had to stop the fight. So what's gonna happen tonight? Uh, no predictions. Yeah. You cannot say anything because yeah. I'm prepared, he's prepared. Yeah. And uh, we'll see whatever happens. So here, okay, when you get step here, you get to meet your friends with your coach. Okay, good luck. After that, you take them here. Okay, so this will check you. Okay, this is all about you. Okay, and then you go to the right side. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is all about you. I began my professional uh, MMA career here in Pack Fight Club. My first uh, professional fight was in Pack Fight Club. Uh, and uh, Pack Fight Club is a way for many of these new guys coming up to work their way up the international ladder and possibly fight in one FC themselves. In fact, our bantamweight tournament tonight, the winner of the tournament, which will be determined at Pack Fight Club 5, will get, along with the championship belt, a one FC contract. So that should give some added incentive to uh, fighters tonight in the bantamweight uh, tournament. Uh, right now, Faison is uh, wasting his yeah. time. Vakar knows this. He's going to relax. He's going to get his head out, and this is probably going to end in a rear naked choke. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's what no I'm first saying. It. Yeah. I mean, uh, not saying anything bad about Faison, but we've seen uh, this happen a lot. Especially yeah, yeah, with exactly, exactly, exactly. And uh, you know, as I was talking about in the earlier fights, you know. Um, this is a position we see too much of. This guy is holding on to his head and there's somebody on his back, you know. He really should yeah. be thinking about and something yeah, else. Over. It's, it's, it's over. over. Totally so like it's, we're it's predicting. Not, yeah, it's not going to uh, take too long. Yeah, Wakar has... Oh, he's actually doing it with one hand. Yeah, oh, good, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, quick night for Wakar Ahmed and his opponent. That's a signature uh, winning move? Yeah. yeah. Excited, Ali? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Ready? Always seems focused. I mean, we can't see Lumi, but yeah, yeah. I'm the focused. man. I bet both guys are focused. Let's go! So Abyss is confident. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of cocky. Yeah, kind of cocky. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it could mess up with his opponent, and you can see the crowd going wild. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! Okay, oh, okay. Oh, oh. oh and, 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 oh! oh good, good take down. Yeah, I'm gonna say, is he gonna go on down? But no, he didn't go down. But yes, he you know, he just gotta move to the outside. Look, he's outside. There you oh, go. Like, like, just like that. Just beautiful. like that. Just like that. Oh, okay. Now he's, now he's going after him. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna see, like, last time I was actually pretty impressed with Ovesa's ground game. 
uh, and uh, surprised that uh, Alumi wasn't being more dominant in uh, his last fight in VCL too. He kind of uh, was in a bit of a bad spot and came from behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Pull off the guillotine. Yeah. Total domination by Alumi right now. Yeah, so far, definitely, definitely. Ali, no controversy. Huh? Like, I know, I know. yeah, all right, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying like. Clear, don't, 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 yeah, don't, don't uh, stop it until you see somebody going out. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah. Right. Forward. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, oh nice yeah, Superman nice punch. Nice, and I think Oasis nice. hurt. Yeah, it looks uh, like Oasis hurt, hurt, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oasis yeah. taking. Oh, okay. I think this fight. Yeah. That yeah. fight is over. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's over. Yeah. yeah. Is that the round or the fight? Uh, the fight. No, no, it's the round. Oh, it's the round. It's the round. All right, this is the third and final round. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Again, like, uh, Ovish, us, the one who's going to pull it out of nowhere, you know? Oh, oh, oh I think he's oh. hurt him. Like, he's hurt, that, yeah, uh, he's definitely hurt. Oh, yeah. Okay. This looks like it might be yeah, close yeah. to being he's over. He's not intelligently yeah. defending him, so he's yeah. just like, trying, oh, okay. Yeah! yeah. Cheers for this guy, ladies and gentlemen! Uh, all of you know Mr. Chairman, and those of you who don't know, this guy is uh, the sole reason for all this right here, back in the main. Uh, Mr. Chairman is uh, like another brother to me. He's like Elder than the Sham for me. So thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I love you. Uh, I love you too. <laughs> and, uh, I want to like, I would, uh, want to like, like All right. to thank my team. So you got to see what's going on with MMA here in Pakistan. Uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Spread the word. Uh, you know, we uh, need the MMA community sport. We need the Pakistani community sport. And, uh, and uh, enjoy the show. Bye-bye. <laughs>